Hi, I am here to explain the technology behind remote neural monitoring which is also known as synthetic telepathy. I am sure most people have heard references to tinfoil hats, mind control and conspiracies. Whilst very funny, there exists a serious side that must be publicly debated. In the late 1700s, Luigi Galvani stimulated the leg muscle of a dead frog with an electrical spark. Thus began the scientific study of bioelectromagnetism. Bioelectromagnetics is the study of electromagnetic fields in relation to biological entities. This encompasses both the fields produced and the effects of external fields. Nerve endings in the human body can be stimulated into firing by radio waves. This includes areas such as the brain, central nervous system, heart and so forth. By controlling the radio waves we can selectively choose which nerve endings fire and how they fire. This allows remote control over specific actions in the human body. These actions could be the movement of a limb, the feeling of anxiety, the sound of a car passing or a vision of an angel. In short, controlled hallucinations and motor control. More than this, bypassing radio waves through a human. The reflected energy contains information on the electrical activity of the body. This can be decoded by computer. This decoded information includes what you are thinking, seeing, hearing, feeling and doing. It also exposes the structure of how these processes work within the brain. The Central Intelligence Agency was quick to see the benefits of reading the mind of its enemy and the potential of controlling them was a bonus. After testing, a satellite constellation was deployed that would provide a global listening platform. In addition, an experimental program was launched into the control of humans. The experiment added random subjects and their families from areas serviced by the satellites. An artificial intelligence was tasked with hacking them. The experiments run 24 hours per day and have a wide range of effects from sending people to sleep, to inducing psychosis as the brain is hacked. The experiment follow individuals throughout their lives. It is not uncommon for experiments to exceed 30 years, be horrific or even fatal. Such is the nature of hacking the brain. Rather than hiding the experiments, the CIA funded the promotion of the idea that such technology was a conspiracy theory and popularized the tinfoil hat image. As the system could induce mental illness and such claims are typical of mental disease, victims were ignored by medical professionals and media outlets. Research in the area was classified and restricted from publication in scientific journals. This allowed the experiments to expand freely. Today, the majority of those being experimented on were small children when they were first attacked. They have spent their lives partially merged with an artificial intelligence. These experimental subjects are the world's first generation that can be described as transhuman. We have come to the end of this short presentation. But before I go I would like to point out that governments can defend against this technology. The problem is that civilians cannot. As such, they are the intended targets in the long run. Human nature would not allow this to develop any other way. Thus, everyone must make their opposition known now before this system is in a position to threaten our nations. It is time to use your voice. Thanks for your time.